Welcome back. In the spirit of starting the year strong, we are talking about how to get out of your own way and actually get help with systems and process and get yourself to really manifest your dreams. And Chris Steely is here with GPS Business Group and we're so excited to hear all your tips and all your tricks to get us out of the gate and really make this year the best ever. Thanks for being with us. It's great to be here. Well, yeah, we're so happy. So Chris, you have a big background in business. You're a retired military. You have done so much. Tell us a little bit about how you got started with this. Well, I got started in life, you know, when I was born, right? <laughs> That's it's a good start. Because we'll it's back to the very yeah, right. <laughs> well, It's funny because I'll actually, as I process a good answer to your, to your question, it's a purpose. It's, mm -hmm. I realized why I was put on this planet. You okay. know, and it started off as a young age up in Indiana, uh -huh. and, you know, and I ended up uh, going to school in Florida and lived there. So the, my, I consider my, my home a region to be in Florida. I'm a Florida okay. boy. I love the beach, love the water yeah. and everything. We and uh, my life, it's been kind of an inspired calling, you know, just doing what it takes. Owned my first business when I was 15 years old as a kid. And mm -hmm. then, uh, so I've kind, of, I've kind of got that entrepreneurial spirit. And for me, it's all about, you know, kind of stepping up yeah. and doing what it takes, whether it be in the military and corporations or whatever. And uh, my life has just been a kind of an inspired journey in that context. So, so. tell yeah. me a little bit about this. Was there like, an, was there a moment where you felt like this is my calling? Did you have like kind of like a poo, or was it just a gradual like I really enjoy this I feel great doing it? It was kind of gradual because I was mm -hmm. put into it uh -huh. again as, as a kid, and mm -hmm. then I was providing a service, and mm -hmm. I started exchanging money for that service, value for value, uh -huh. right? And it was like it was easy, so I snapped into it. And then when I was 16 years old, I went to a private military boarding school, and okay. you know kind of left the nest at that point, yeah. and did that at, the, at a young age, and that kind of fostered an ethic of leadership. Mm. But I think what really, what really catalyzed it was uh, I attended a, a seminar uh, back, it was 2005, mm -hmm. and everything that I had done, whether it be the military or corporate leadership, or whatever, culminated because it was, it was a training seminar that, that allowed me to come to terms with who I was. Mm -hmm. okay. And I created a vision, created a purpose, created a mission. And then since, and that's when I said, okay, I'm, you know, it's time to leave corporate America. It's time to embark upon what I call my crusade, mm -hmm. you know, as a business owner. Yeah. And make the impact on the planet that I, I know I was put here to make. Mm -hmm. So That's really cool. So yeah. what is your distinct purpose? Because you are now helping people find theirs. So right. well, that's part is that of it? it? Yeah, mm -hmm. is really kind of introducing people to themselves, to their capability. And a lot of people manifest their purpose through a business, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, you create a business because sure. you want to make a difference. Unfortunately, people don't know how to operate business mm -hmm. effectively, necessarily. So what I do is I introduce them to that purpose and that calling and then give, give them the constructs, the strategies, you know, kind of innovate mm -hmm. the way they think mm -hmm. in order to be able to get results so their business is successful. Yet at the same time, the imperative is the human element, right? Because mm -hmm. you know, until the matrix plays out, right? Yeah. We are human beings, and <laughs> or human uh, beings. Elon operate. Musk thinks we're already in the matrix. I love so that much. perspective. Isn't that fun? You know, and, and the nice thing about that, it's kind of like we were, I was actually talking um, to somebody just a second ago about the quantum reality concept mm -hmm. and what we don't know that we don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. And then Musk talks about it and everything. Well, it's important to entertain that mm -hmm. and, and change the way we think, innovate our thought processes. Mm -hmm. That's what makes business successful as opposed to just being a commodity in the marketplace. And that's what I do is right. I teach people to really break past their limits and do something that is going to make a difference, right? I is love there, that. Is there one thing or two or three that you see over and over again that if you could help everybody in the world to really get out of their own way, these would be the top things you would recommend? So I think the first thing is, is self-awareness. Right, and you can do that. I mean, there's systems out there, whether it be, you know, uh, the Enneagram, Myers Briggs, DISC. I mean, all these programs, or again, seminars. Go to a seminar. Landmark Forum is a great seminar. There's lots of good seminars out there. There's one just down the street here. Um, Productive Learning. They put on a really good seminar, and it introduces you to who you really are, coming to terms with some of the things that might be holding you back. So that's the first thing. So self awareness is the key, and then the second component is. How do you apply that toward a, like a, a channel, whether it be business ownership, being a good effective employee, and educating yourself to be able to perform effectively? There's something that's happening that I, in society these days, I call it the crisis of competence. Mm -hmm. you know, there's, I deal with a lot of corporations and I right. see leaders and people that call themselves leaders that shouldn't be leaders, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're doing things they shouldn't be doing but they're doing it because their parents told them they should, right? right. So understand what your purpose is, in, in, instill that spirit, you know, get that into your heart, and then educate yourself to be able to do it effectively. 
mm -hmm. as opposed to trying to do something you're really not supposed to do. Yeah, I think know? that's one of the things that, um, it, from my perspective, it just um, working with like a, a bunch of different clients on their marketing is really, it's really standing out to me because, you know, all these business leaders, they have like such a great desire. I've never met one business owner who has not gone into business to make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. I think that that heart is almost always there. But it, when it comes into the operations and how do they execute on that vision, that's where I think your services are so important because we do, we all come with scripts. Yeah. Our parents have, have a lot to do with that. Parents, <laughs> teachers, you know, other exactly. people we've met, other businesses we've encountered. That's it's, right. You know, business school, I mean, so many places business influence mentors, us. Business mentors, you yeah. know, and so being able to have like a guideline for that and how, you know, you have, you, you're able to draw on your corporate experience and your military experience and your life experience as a business owner. Like, it's really If you didn't really know cool. how amazing you were, we will tell you. I, yes, you by the way, we are sudden. fans. <laughs> we're big fans. You guys are good at so let's talk amazing. about your book because I love I love that you've got the GPS for goals and proven strategies mm -hmm. for success. I mean, I think if everybody could put this app in their phone and it said GPS for success, we'd be going there a whole lot faster. Mm -hmm. So talk to us a little bit about, you've written it with right. some other stellar superstars. So it's an anthology. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was invited to participate in it and um, you can see Stephen Covey, John Gray, Les Brown, and then myself. Uh, I've got one chapter in it, and um, it's a good piece around inspiring mm -hmm. your possibilities. It's kind of what we talked about around what's possible in life, what mm -hmm. can you do? Mm -hmm. And I like mm -hmm. the metaphor of a GPS, right? Think of a GPS, global yeah. positioning system. It's mm -hmm. direction. Yet yeah, at the same time, we gotta have those goals and proven strategies, right? right. Mm -hmm. For growth, profit, and success. So I love the oh, GPS on yeah, multiple that. levels. You know, right? if we, if we can have cool. one chapter with all of these guys, it would be like the seven habits of proven strategies on Mars. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Yeah. And then that's understanding great. that your mama inspired you. Exactly. Thanks to Les Brown, no, that's right. right. <laughs> You're absolutely right. That's right. So I, okay, so I, I've, I've read your chapter. You, you talk about um, what is success. Can you kind of tell our, our viewers a little bit in this chapter of like, what is success to you? So to me, because mm -hmm. it's interesting, the word success, I mean, people define it whatever they, they want to define it. Yeah. Some people think success is financial results, and mm -hmm. it is to some extent. Mm -hmm. But we've all got our own unique definition of success. So my definition of success, it's just, it's about, you know, in, in this context, it's about leading a life that is, is a life of impact, of mm -hmm. purpose, of inspiration, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and being somebody, because we're all individual unique human beings we were put on this planet for a reason our responsibility is to figure out what that is and then mm -hmm. be that what yeah. does gandhi say right mm -hmm. be the change mm -hmm. so for me that's success and too many people dilute that success because they do things again for the wrong reasons because mm -hmm. their parents told them they should do it or mm -hmm. they just want to make money there's nothing wrong with making money mm -hmm. but if that's your primary driver and i address that in the book that greed motive mm -hmm. it can lead to bad stuff corruption mm -hmm. and everything right. so i don't know that it's usually the the greed factor, except that it is a tangible way to keep score. Right. Do you, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. do you think Numbers, so? right? Mm -hmm. Profit is great. You've mm -hmm. got to have profit in business. And it's an indicator of success, not mm -hmm. the okay. indicator of success. But that's my definition of I success. I like that. As a person. You know? mm -hmm. I remember, so I had like one of those like moments where I was like, when I was six. And I remember I was, it's 1982. I was swinging on my swings in my, um, in like my little swing set outside my house. And I like, my mom called me in for dinner and I start walking back. And all of a sudden I had this like sudden like panic attack. And I thought in my mind, it is 1982. I am six already. How am I going to get everything done? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I know, and like ever since then, it's been like this like race, which I think is a little bit, you know, unhealthy, let's be honest. <laughs> but like, it's been like, okay, there's so much I want to do. There's so much I want to achieve. And I felt like that was kind of like my calling moment where I thought, okay, this is what I want to do. Love so anyway, so I thought that was really interesting that you, you talked about that, you know, and, and leaving, leading a life of significance basically, mm -hmm. right? Right, that's it. Again, that's my definition mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of success. But, you know, I'll challenge everybody to define what success means to them. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And I love the fact that you're doing this and everything and you're actually contributing to what you believe is success mm -hmm. by putting people in, on, on a stage and a camera mm -hmm. and drawing out their capability. I really admire you for that. Oh, and well. you're very successful in my, from we my perspective. We think people so. are doing cool stuff and mm -hmm. there has to be a way to share that that cool stuff with others and mm -hmm. this is just a great opportunity and we love it. We both own our own businesses. We've both 
been overeducated for years and years. We both look for ways to mm -hmm. to bring and spotlight people who are doing great things. So that's why you're here, and and we want to share you with our audience. I know you have a gift for them, also. I do. What would that be? Is that so okay? You, you mentioned you read you read the chapter. Yes. So it's chapter four. It's called Inspiring Your Possibilities, and uh, the book's out of print. I, I I still got some copies left, but people can get their own chapter for free of my chapter four. Okay. Um, and all I got to do is just go to the website. So gpsbusinessgroup.com, gpsbusinessgroup.com forward slash gift. And it's okay, a gift. Okay. It's my free gift. Perfect. And just go there, download it, and it's for you. Oh, thank you what so much. What a great way to start and, the new year with and that how, kind of gift. Yes, and I'm wondering about consulting services. Mm -hmm. So whether a person is like watching this show um, as a retired person in Laguna Woods, or whether they're a business executive watching this online, or watching it from the OC register, it's how do we get in contact with you to help us with like personal or corporate consulting to help us define that success? Yeah, the best way to do it is just do what I just said, mm -hmm. gpsbusinessgroup.com mm -hmm. forward slash gift. Okay. And you have to enter in your name okay. and your email address. Okay. And then you can, you'll download the book. Okay, And great. that'll just be in touch. Okay, okay, perfect. And that's the way it works. Okay, so we'll and like put I our say, contact in. I, only, I, I like to work with people that understand the value of kind of taking themselves on and okay. not everybody likes that. People mm -hmm. are oftentimes stuck into a paradigm of, of comfort, right? And I love comfort. Mm -hmm. It's but hard to look inside. Right. I think so it is. Not too. everybody wants I don't, to do I don't, the hard I don't, I don't like I don't like acknowledging where I'm falling short, but it's necessary. You know, like I have to because there's so there's so much there's so much to improve on. Did that. you know what I find? <laughs> so you call it falling short. I call it doing stuff I probably shouldn't be doing in the first place. <laughs> that there are usually things that take up my time that Simplify. I'm not good at. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And if I could just hire that out or give it mm -hmm. off to someone who actually, for them, it is a strength, mm -hmm. to have someone like Chris be able to show that to me. It's like holding up a mirror that says, mm -hmm. why are you doing this in the first place? Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, it's just great to have a check-in. Yeah, so, that's great. Yeah. Well, thank you for all that you're doing for people everywhere and you know, realizing, helping, helping realize other people's potential. So, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming in. And we'll be back.